Oh, oh, no, that's not even working. All right, we're just gonna do it like this. Hello, everyone. <sighs> the reason you haven't seen videos of me in such a long time is because I've been working on so much content for you. So, um, I've been asked to do this video um, by lots of my friends because a lot of people are in quarantine right now. A lot of people are self-isolating and loads of people are working from home. Um, I am a freelancer and I've been working from home for about three to four years. So I've got some tips to help you from going, from not going, wait, from go <sighs> I don't even know how to talk in front of a camera, I'm so sorry. So, hello, <laughs> again. So I've got some tips for you on how to stay, in, stay sane while you're working from home. Now, um, some of these will be able to help you a lot. Others you might not be able to do um, because we can't go outside right now. So when I mention, for example, going outside for some daily exercise, you can't do that. But I can think of alternatives. So let's get started with all of the different tips. I'm just gonna do them really quickly for you so I don't have like a 20 minute video that you have to sit through. So let's get started. There's gonna be a lot of editing in this. Okay, so always have a routine. Um, have one set out for the week prior. So you're gonna wake up specifically at eight o'clock and you're gonna finish work or start work at nine and finish work at six. Make sure you write these down because if you don't then you'll find yourself working at 6pm until 9pm and you won't stop working so you need to treat it exactly like you would a work day. Number two, always have water beside you at the desk. Hydration is like it's needed. You need to make sure you're hydrated throughout the entire day and every hour do a 10 minute break of moving around, moving up moving down basically anything that gets your body moving a little bit so you're not stuck in a chair for various hours getting stressed have your windows open so you can get some fresh air in the room make sure there is air in the room because a stuffy room makes a stuffy mindset now this one may not apply to other people or a lot of people because they don't have spare rooms but if you have a room where you are doing the work in, make sure that you can kind of distance it from where you're sleeping and where you're doing other activities because you need to have that specifically as your workspace. Uh, if you can't do that, um, at least turn off the computer uh, or the work stuff once you finish the work. Do the other tip that I said, like the uh, time set when you do the work, if your workspace is where you sleep or in the same room as where you live. Okay, so you can't go outside to do exercise, but if there is a little bit of room where you can do this with your hands, mm -hmm, you can do some yoga. <laughs> you, can, you can do some stretches and you can do some um, bit of exercise basically. You can do indoor workouts, e.g. grabbing something that's quite heavy and doing some ups and downs, what are they called, squats. I exercise so much. <laughs> if you have a garden, that's even better. Or if you have a balcony, try to do yoga on the balcony or try to do some movement on the balcony. Um, I'm gonna link these down below. I use a lot of different programs to work on tasks because a lot of people have told me that they get stuck in not knowing what to do. And they're like, what job should I be doing now? What task should I be doing now? So I specifically use, I used to use Trello I now use Ntask. Uh, they're both free. If you want to get the premium and upgrade, you can. But they're free on their own and you can do all these tasks. And I'm not sponsored or anything. I just use these to kind of separate personal from business from errands. So I have sets every day and you get to tick them off and it makes you feel really good. And it keeps you in track with what you're doing. So I use Ntask every day. And sometimes on the weekends when I need to do personal errands and I have not been productive. Like one of my tasks today is to make this video, which I can tick off as soon as I'm done. If you're stuck inside the house and you want to do some different skills or you're like, what do I do? I just don't want to watch Netflix all the time and watch movies. I want to do something and feel like I'm doing something productive. Then there are sites like Skillshare. I use Udemy because Udemy basically every week has a sale where loads of their courses are like 
30% off or 50% off. They teach you how to paint, how to draw, how to do computer science, so many different skills, even how to do an instrument and stuff. So use them because they're really good. If you want to feel like you're doing something, creatively express yourself. You either have this time to grow plants on your balcony in a little pot or in a garden or do some painting, drawing, singing, self-growth. Now is the time. You have time in your location to make things around you look nicer and better. So use this time to reflect on yourself and what you're doing. And last but not least, I don't actually have a full... Basically, I don't have enough battery left to show you this, but bullet journals. I haven't started my new one yet. I, but last year I had a bullet journal. Bullet journals are amazing. Um, if any of you are interested in a follow-up video of me going through a bullet journal and how to set it up with scheduling and stuff, let me know. I will do a whole video on that of an easy setup and you'll be able to use any notebook and stuff. Um, yeah. And last but not least, if you really want to have contact with people, Discord, Skype, use these you can have group conversations and also roll 20 you can play dnd with your friends on roll 20 and you can have hosting parties um i don't know many websites that do video hosting sharing but on discord you can share your screen so you can have the opportunity to call relatives and friends also facetime as well and whatsapp has a video face feature if you really need to see somebody that you can't physically go see, try to use these because then you can get that communication. And that's it. That's all the tips I have, I think. I might have missed some, but I don't think I have. So that's good. Um, if you like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos, and comment below. Tell me what you're doing. Tell me if you've, you're going to try any of these. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, by the way, PS. Um, I have a backlog of videos, about 10 videos I think, or 5. They're different numbers, but I have videos which you'll kind of probably see on the channel which are from ages ago, so my hair's going to look a lot shorter and I'm going to look a bit more different. So that's going to be on the channel, um, so you're going to probably see those once I get through the editing process.